So today we have ourselves a battle between three commanders, free commander, double commander, and multi commander. And the reason we're doing that because uh, on my previous videos comparing those tools, some people swore by double and multi commander. And also I would like to see if I have a viable alternative for a free commander. I did test other commanders in the past, but it was uh, they're not on that level like those three. And uh, this is why I'm focusing on them specifically. Now, how are we going to do it? I have several requirements and I did a review for each one of them from the get-go. And what I want to know that is, can I work with the commander in the dark mode? Because dark, I have three screens and I need uh, to remove that white blasting into my face uh, when I'm working with, uh, with so much light. And when I'm working at night, especially it's important. I want the style and font size to be uh, consistent with the rest of the windows. You would be surprised that many of the other file commanders uh, or file managers that I reviewed in, in, a, in just without videos or anything, they do change the default view. I don't know what's up with the new testing software and creating new views. Uh, new ways to interpret it anyways. Updates and compatibility. I do want to know that whatever issues I'm experiencing with my software, with my tools, will be mitigated, at least theoretically, uh, by some active development and not an abundant wear, okay? Of course, compatibility with uh, Windows and everything else, uh, with uh, the skills that I have in operating systems, so I don't need to learn the file manager as if it's like a separate tool. Navigations between directors and drives needs to be intuitive. It needs to be very, very easy for us. And search needs to be better than the one provided out of the box by default file managers, be it on Linux or uh, on Windows. It needs to be more convenient. I want to find what I find. I want to go to the folder. I want to see it in a proper list. I want to see many, many details and uh, review um, everything uh, once I find it. So let's begin. First of all, a little bit of a disclaimer. All three file managers are uh, already configured. I released a video for every single one of them while configuring them to my liking for about 10 minutes. So this is the result of out after, uh, after 10 minutes. And as you see, they are very, very different. And the dark mode, well, the free commander actually has it has the best dark mode, although it's a little bit lighter than the one that is used in Windows, but still not lighter uh, to the point that where it's uh, not useful. It's not it doesn't blast you with a lot of black color, it's, uh, white color. Sorry, so that's pretty convenient. And for double commander, we see that uh, while I can modify the canvas. I cannot modify really all of those bits. I might find them somewhere in menus or in config files, but it wasn't easy to, to see them here. And uh, frankly, uh, the menu here doesn't really uh, allow you to do it properly. Okay. And then for multi-commander, it's the exact opposite. I can configure the dark mode for everything except for the file canvas, like which is like, what is it? 70% of the screen size that we have. So I cannot do it between those three, which is super weird. That's like the exact opposite. So on dark mode, those file managers are uh, losing to free commander. Font size and style. Well, uh, the double commander does need to uh, be configured a little bit. It's, a, it's enlarged here for a reason. I was going to show something, but uh, basically when you go to fonts, you can change it to, to be, what is it, eight, I think, and it would be compatible with everything else as you see. So that's fine. The view here is a little bit weird. It has a lot of this white space that is not used. So I guess you need to resize and uh, yeah, that's that's completely fine. And here, it's also uh, pretty fine. So those three uh, file managers really do have a compatible look and feel to the one in Windows. Now, updates on compatibility. So the double commander and the free commander are updated frequently. Okay, so multi-commander, uh, it was the latest release was in February and then it was the one in November. So it's like every four months. Uh, which is okay. I mean, people get the uh, opportunity to report issues. Double commander, uh, well, 
it was in uh, January and then half a year before that. So this very schedule is pretty similar between all those uh, softwares. It's like half a year, four months. Same goes with the uh, free commander. It has a, it's a freeware program and it has a really weird uh, monetization schema, I guess. So uh, there is, the updates are released every like four to six months, but uh, the monthly update is actually for donationware. So when you go to check for updates here, you'll see that it's a uh, bait for don donors. And donors are basically people that donate money and get extra features. In my mind's eye, this is not donation. Uh, if you get extra features for donation, it's premium access, okay? Um, am I donating to the supermarket when I get food compared to not getting food? Uh, it's like, no, it's premium access or software tier above free or something. I, it's confusing to me. Okay. But basically in terms of release schedule, everything is good, but uh, the free commander is the one that is, it's released for 32 bits rather than 64. Uh, so a 64 is donationware. Okay. Easy navigation. Well, after mingling with them um, a little bit, you know, uh, the navigation becomes pretty standard on all of them. Although the double command required a lot of work, it had a lot of icons and the tabs were uh, somewhere at the bottom of it. It, it, it. We needed to configure them, but then of course, if you have a selected folder, double clicking open this folder, you can drag and drop to other panels and it, it works. I mean, that's completely fine. Uh, right clicking brings the Windows menu, double clicking on folders goes inside. It's also needed to be changed because it had some weird approach to that. And uh, same goes for double commander, double clicking. I, it's really weird for me. You see those four dots over here? Uh, that, that, that is really weird way of showing both the icon and the two dots over here. It's nothing that would stop me from using them. It's, it's a really weird decision. And navigation is pretty fine over here and as well. You can see the details. You can uh, change the uh, columns and everything on all three softwares. So the behavior is very, very similar between all of them in that regard. Now, uh, drives also are accessible from a specific panel, like here, for example, you have this, those specific panels, and this one also has this disk C in addition to, oh, like you can, you can select from a list, so that's pretty, pretty nice, and here are the direct access uh, buttons. So, uh, the navigation is very similar between those three, although out of the box, you do need to configure the double commander more than others. Okay, in terms of search, so the only one with, that works with control F is uh, the um, free commander. In double commander, let's navigate to the same folder. Let's make sure that we are in the same place. So uh, here, you need to press uh, uh, yeah. And it opens search. Let's open it in full screen. And on this one, the search is hidden. You guessed it in F3 key, which I need to use Fn key to, to operate on my keyboard. Okay. And this one cannot be enlarged, so we must use it this way. So we are going to search for some, for uh, hidden files, like hid files in, pro, in uh, three places in program files, just for convenience. And uh, we are basically looking for commander. We click start. And uh, this is the search result over here. In it opens a result panel. Now you need to be familiar with the result panel that appears here automatically when you right-click the files. It will allow you to go to the containing folder to see where it is right now, All right where where it found it. So we can let's repeat that. We go select that item in this panel. So we can go back and forth and it will uh, show us uh, the results. Can I go back? I, yeah, I can. Basically, this is what it found for us. When we go to the double commander, we are going to search for commander in the same place, click start. It gives us a list in a tab in search. So we do need to switch between tabs. Okay, and when I right-click the result, it shows, well, open in new tab, and it will open it in uh, double commander over here, somewhere 
Where did it go? Where did it go? Come on, open a new tab. Um, open a new tab. Uh, let's find this one. Multi commander show open a new tab. What it does for us, I have no idea. So that's really weird because we cannot really see uh, the result. Go to file does uh, point us to the location of the file, but it also closes search. When I go to search once more, it will it will do something with it. Alt F7. Yeah, it keeps the results, but you need to reopen search every time you go to files. When we go to free commander, we are going to search for commander in the program files, it will show the result in the same place. You cannot right click and go to the place, but you need to uh, you either use one of the buttons. Remember that it's space. So it keeps the search open and it's very convenient if you have multiple screens and it will just open it in a panel that you specify. And those are the search results. The wildcards work more or less the same between all of them. So this is the search. It's more convenient than Windows search. Although uh, a little bit weird uh, on 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 uh, the multi commander, not to include it in full screen, but in, but just fill it with details and everything. And here how it looks like without the advanced settings, but it's just full with features. And basically, you you get the picture. Commander. Let's search for it once more, and it keeps the result open. So I need to open and close every time. So yeah, or I need to put it in a place that allows me to see the results in a separate panel. So that's about it. I know there are a lot of features in every one of them. For example, if you go to network, network drives, so all kinds of commands that you can see. There are editors built in, and you can connect to remote network locations, FTP sites, process file, mark files with conditional rules, and all of this is fine. Uh, however, it's this everyday task. Those are the double clicks that matter. They appear a lot. They You use them all the time. So definitely it's the most important bit that needs to be uh, compatible with your expectations. And uh, unfortunately not everything is there at the moment, not for all of those, not for all of those programs. Some of them do it better than the others, but definitely uh, they're, get, they're getting there, but not at the same pace. Now, uh, one last thing, when you want to see the thumbnails of pictures, for example, here, you want to see them in various sizes. Now, I know that the other commanders support in a way uh, the sizes of thumbnails, but altering between them makes, makes it very different. I'm a guy that operates screenshots. I can take 100, more than a couple of hundreds of screenshots in a single day. I need to be able to browse them fast and view them from up close when I need it. I need to be, to be able to switch between all of those. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this is not uh, the case uh, for um, for other bro file managers. They have a default size. I guess it's, uh, where is it? Uh, we don't have it, but yeah. But anyways, uh, the thumbnail size is very rigid on those commanders and it's uh, it's not optimal and the access there for example this one requires two clicks so we go to thumbnail list now there are some uh, configurations that allow you to change the thumbnail size but not on the fly okay zooming in with control and uh, mouse uh, gives it a little bit more opportunities in this one, but uh, see the switch is pretty, pretty slow, uh, but still this one at least wins it, but with the white color in the middle of the panel, changes it back to not usable anymore. This one doesn't have anything for us. And this one requires a manual click uh, to choose the sizes. You cannot do it with a control. So this is uh, the differences. Those are the differences that I see between all of them. Anyways, I'm staying with Free Commander at the moment. I would really like to see the other commanders competing and getting that good. 
because those are really small front end changes, I believe. They are not in depth functionalities that need to be tweaked in order to just get this feature that everybody else did not do properly. No, I'm talking about the front end stuff. Okay. And that's about it. So if you like this video, you know what to do. I'll see you in the next.